Hey John here, so in this lesson we're gonna cover this E Dorian lick. <laughs> If you want access to 200 plus different lessons, including my Lick of the Day series with 176 different licks with downloadable Guitar Pro tabs and PDFs and all that stuff, you can sign up via the link in my description. So basically, you just give me your email address and I will send you access to that whole thing right away. After that, I will send you exclusive lessons that you won't find anywhere else. And if you, for whatever reason, don't like that stuff, you can just unsubscribe. So no harm, no foul. You'll still have access to the 200 plus lessons. So if you want access to that, you have the link in the description. All right, so this lick is an E Dorian and we start with this E minor pentatonic uh, run and it's gonna be using tapping. And ironically, <laughs> saying all that stuff about the tabs, I don't have tabs for this one. So I just want to show you what I do here. So basically we start in this E minor pentatonic position and the left hand is only gonna follow the left, uh, the, the uh, standard shape here. And we're gonna be tapping on 17, 17, 16, and then 17, 17, 17. So the pattern goes like this. And if you remove these two notes, basically the pattern is just like this. One, two, three, four. And then you repeat that on each string group. So you have a hammer on from nowhere there. So you got one, two, three, very simple on one string. And then you hammer on from nowhere. Uh, so one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three. And with, if you add the two sort of pickup notes here, Now in the fast version, I actually tapped it with my index finger. For whatever reason, it just sounds better to me. It's just easier for me to get a better sound. So the trade-off here is that I have to sort of get my pick quickly back into my hand, but it's not that difficult. And I tend to put it here and it's so automatic now, so not anything I think about. So chuck it here, try that. And if you do that for a while, you'll get used to it. Or simply tap with the, the third finger. So. I'm gonna play it exactly how I did it, so... Then I slide into the 9th fret, and that's where the Dorian comes in, because this is just E minor... Whoops! E minor pentatonic, but the Dorian note is the natural 6th, and that would be C sharp here. And we're gonna do this uh, A major arpeggio. Now I play this with hybrid picking because I find that's the easiest, but if you want, you can try alternate picking as well. But the actual pattern goes like this. So we have this shape. So basically this uh, A major arpeggio. So we got uh, 12, 11, 9, 10, 9, 12. And then we have nine here as well. So, and we just start like this, every other string in this shape. So. Have this and then we go E string, D string, A string, G string, D string, B string, G string, E string, and then B string, E string, and then slide down to 10. So now if you want to try with alternate picking, do that. Uh, but like I said, a hybrid picking is easiest for me, so that's basically us going. Uh, if you divide this lick into two notes at a time, the lowest note will always be a downstroke for me. So down, M finger, 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 slide. So, and just take it easy with this one. It can be a bit confusing at first, actually, because you, you're skipping between the, the sort of low notes and the high notes, and it can be uh, a bit confusing. It's easy to make mistakes here. So a good way to mitigate that is to use planting. So you basically prepare each note. So I prepare the first note with the downstroke here. And as soon as I play that, not like that, but as soon as I play this note, I prepare my, my uh, hybrid pick finger 
And as soon as I play that, I'm preparing my downstroke here on the, on the A string. So that's something you can do when you practice slowly. And then I did exactly what I did here, was just legato, only left hand, no picking. You can pick it as well, pick each starting note, but I didn't do that. And the shape goes like this. You have a 10, 9, 7 on the high E string, 10, 8, 7 on the B string. So and then we have 9, 7, 6. And now the easiest part, we have the same fingering for D, A, and E, which will be on the dots. 9, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5, 9, 7, 5. Nine, seven, five. Slide down to the third fret, pull off, and then I just do this. Right, so just hammering between open D and E. Until I felt done with that. And then I simply slide up to G here. And make sure that you get this, this thing going. So you don't just go, that sounds very stiff. So, and as long as you don't stop this bend, because we're not really bending anywhere. We're just sort of giving this some, some uh, blues magic or not, right? But it's a, it's a typical thing in the blues uh, vocabulary. But you need to make sure you don't stop. You can't do this. Then it sounds like amateur hour right away. So, so you kind of have to keep this going. And the funny thing is here is that you can keep going uh, and be totally out of tune, but as long as the pitch keeps moving, you're fine. So, and you know, you need to either kill the note or you need to hit something else. So. As, and that's what we did here, so... So, that's the whole thing. Uh, like I said, I don't have tabs for this one, but it's basically three sections. You have the tapping section, the hybrid pick section, and the legato section. Uh, and, like I said, the theory behind it is basically just the E minor pentatonic here, but that's part of the Dorian scale, so the Dorian scale would have uh, sort of the scaffolding of the Dorian scale would be an E minor pentatonic or a minor pentatonic because we have one flat three four five flat seven and then to get the Dorian scale you just add a second and then more importantly the natural sixth and here we have the complete scale so Play around with this, let me know if you like it, and if you're still watching at this point and you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, it really does help the channel and you won't miss any lessons. Back in the day I used to have real issues with fast alternate picking when it came to two notes per string. I was fine with three notes per string, but the two notes per string thing was a bit harder to, to crack. So if you struggle with fast alternate picking as well, and you don't know what to practice or for how long, I've created the perfect solution for you in the form of the Pentatonic Picking Power Book. So in this book, you'll find a daily workout that will not only help your pentatonic picking, but will also upgrade your overall alternate picking technique. So it contains basically the same exercises I used myself to develop my picking abilities, as well as numerous students over the years that I've given the same exercise to with great results. So I know these exercises work as long as you put in the work. So it's not a quick solution or quick fix. It will still take a lot of work, but at least you have a very easy to follow routine. So if you're up for a big alternate picking upgrade in 2024, I cannot think of a better start.